RV toilets. We're happy and don't even think about them when they work. But when they don't, they can definitely flush out the worse in us, if you know what I mean. This week we pay a visit to Thetford, one of the leading manufacturers of RV, marine and portable toilets and see what goes into building them. The company has three different production lines that turn out, would you believe, 32 different models? Like anything else, toilets come in all sizes, shapes, colors and of course, prices. I must say, we do take a lot for granted when it comes to RV toilets. Think about it. They get bounced around, they're in weather ranging from 10 below zero to 140 degrees, and just think how much weight a toilet may have to hold. In other words, we expect them to work no matter what. At Thetford, along with continuous online inspections, they also have an extensive testing laboratory. During our visit, we saw a few tests being performed, including a shaking and bouncing test. Now this test simulates a new toilet and what it could go through just to get delivered. They also have an oven that duplicates extreme heat conditions. And on the other side of the room, a line of toilets were going through a flush mechanism test. Keep in mind, these tests are simulating years of use. And in another test, the machine is duplicating the weight of a 400 pound person. So you see, the toilets we take for granted, Thetford doesn't. As I mentioned earlier, Thetford has three different production lines. And we had a chance to see two of them. On the first line, plastic toilets are produced. The first step is installing a flush cable in the upper bowl assembly. Then, the upper bowl and base unit are matched up for the next operation. Now, the flush mechanism is installed. And if you notice, the operator actually initials each unit he works on. This is part of Thetford's quality control procedure. In the next operation, a bonding agent is put on the bowl and base unit, then they're secured together in a state-of-the-art heat bonding machine. Another worker installs the flush pedal, and then the whole unit is thoroughly inspected. At another station, water valves are assembled and they're pressure tested to the same pressure toilets will receive over a lifetime. Once the valves pass the pressure test, they go into a bin where another inspector checks each unit for correct parts. Remember, Tetford makes 32 different toilets, so there are a lot of parts around. Now, the seats and covers are installed and the finished toilet heads to the packing department. Toilets go into retailers are packed in boxes, and toilets go into the RV manufacturers are stacked onto reusable trays. On the next line, they're assembling more expensive porcelain toilets. Some of these steps are the same as we saw on the first line. We pick up here with the assembly of the plastic waterline unit. Then, each assembly goes through a pressure test to make sure there are no leaks. Once they pass the test, another worker attaches the hose and fittings, then dates each assembly. Next, the flush ball and pedal assembly are added. At this station, the porcelain bowls are brought over and the bowl is bolted to the base. Then, the flush nozzle is attached in place. With all that done, the last step is attaching the seat cover and we're off to the packing area. Like the other line we saw, some toilets get boxed for retail, Events. but with porcelain being so delicate, yeah. a special foam packaging is placed around the bowl and through a chemical reaction, expands securely around the toilet. The porcelain toilets headed to the RV manufacturers are also placed on reusable plastic trays, then banded together and they're ready for shipping. When you look at this huge warehouse area, you get a good idea of just how many toilets Thetford makes each week. By the way, 
Thetford is another company that's proud to say, made in America. Now, next time you use that RV toilet, you can appreciate exactly what went into building it.